So yeah, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, Vmux, which is a project I've been working on now for uh, five years. Uh, I started working on it five years ago. Uh, yeah, and uh, basically it's a terminal multiplexer uh, as a plugin uh, for uh, for NeoVim and Vim. And uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, you can see it at this address. And uh, yeah, I started. Uh, because I wanted to have a way to multiplex, uh, to to you to replace Tmux. Uh, and so, uh, the, the at the start, uh, I was uh, like in uh, before uh, 2015, I was using Tmux uh, plus Vim, like a lot of people, uh, because uh, and uh, what Tmux provides, it provides panes which are windows in uh, Vim and windows which are tabs in uh, in the uh, new Vim. So and uh, it has uh, it has terminal. Uh, you can uh, it's, it's what it does. It's a multiplex terminal. So, but in Vim uh, there was no not uh, a way to do that. And it has session management, uh, which is uh, the way to detach from uh, from the running session and reattach to it. Uh, so it's, it was missing from uh, from Vim. So uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so after that, uh, the revolution came with NeoVim, which introduced uh, the terminal in uh, in Vim, NeoVim, and then it was uh, introduced uh, in uh, 2020 uh, as uh, in uh, Vim also. So now you can have the terminal compile uh, your code uh, along your your code, and that's that's really nice feature. Uh, before going uh, going on, I uh, like to put an emphasis on uh, the main limitation I see uh, is uh, that uh, the line wrapping in the terminal. So here in, in the left hand side, I have uh, the terminal, and uh, the line wrapping is hard coded. So you can, if you resize it, it, or if you want to copy stuff, for example, here I have a word I want to copy, so we paste it in uh, my buffer, and you see the the line feed is uh, is copied also. So it's a it's a little annoying. There I know there are PRs to fix it, uh, but it seems like a hard problem to solve. And also, for example, if you if you resize the terminal, you will see that it does not uh, do do line wrapping. So you have to bypass that. Uh, usually, I uh, uh, when I want to copy past stuff, I uh, resize the window and relaunch the command. Or I type the command uh, output to clipboard or a file. Knowing that, um, I still decided uh, to to go with it, and uh, I tried uh, running uh, one week uh, in 2017 uh, without uh, without Tmux and uh, with uh, NeoVim only. Uh, so the lesson I learned from uh, the, this this first try is. Uh, Remap the escape uh, key to to escape escape to live faster and uh, in a more a nicer way the terminal. So here at the top I have a terminal opened. Also uh, use uh, this uh, plugin uh, which is really cool. Being zoom to to zoom uh, on the buffer. Copy pasting it works. You can use uh, everything as usual uh, any register you like. And uh, here on the top, I have a terminal running with some text. And uh, what's cool is that completion will uh, take uh, would take stuff uh, in uh, the terminal buffer also. So that's really a nice integration. Uh, the thing that was missing still was uh, detach. Uh, so, so way to, to to detach your session like screen. Or, uh, so I, I decided to use the app Duco for that. Um, so, for, um, so, and also one thing I wanted is to integrate the terminal with NeoVim so that in the terminal you can call stuff, uh, you can call NeoVim. For, so, uh, to do that, I used uh, the server mode from, uh, from NeoVim, which run a Unix domain socket and a client uh, called RPCs uh, to NeoVim. And uh, that way, I have, uh, I start NeoVim with a uh, with uh, this, and uh, then I just uh, create a simple script which uh, 
uh, which forwards every command to to my uh, Vim instance. So I call it Vimux send. Uh, yeah. Uh, so then uh, I created uh, an alias uh, which I call Vimux, which did all that. So it uh, used Abduco to detach the um, from uh, the terminal. And uh, the, he chose the server mode, and, and thus uh, Vimux was born. Uh, and I decided to put it all in the, in the plugin. So let's have a, a quick demo of uh, this first uh, iteration of uh, of uh, Vimux. So here yeah, I'm, I'm in a Vimux instance. Uh, let, let's say I'm out of it. I can run uh, Vimux, uh, which will tell you you can uh, create a new a new session. Attached to a running session, list sessions. So, for example, if I list a session, here I have one uh, one one session running. Uh, and in the terminal, uh, once in your, you're in a Vimux session, like we are here, uh, you can uh, call the um, split. Uh, there are commands that are integrated in your. Uh, you, you have to source uh, the script in your Bash RC to, to to do that. But uh, you can uh, run this command, and it will uh, open a split in Vim. So that you know, that way you won't have uh, a Vim in Vim, so that would be a pain. Uh, and uh, it uh, replaces uh, the editor variable with uh, with this uh, with this. Uh, and you can detach from a session with uh, Control G and uh, stop a session by quitting Vim. So for example, yeah, I detach from a session, I go back to the session, and I can leave it. And hop. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the state where I was at, and uh, at the start of the year, uh, uh, I was using more and more LSPs in uh, my daily work, and uh, so my usual workflow was uh, I have one uh, NeoVim instance with multiple projects running in it, and uh, it became a pain to manage. There were bugs. Uh, so if uh, if uh, one project was uh, lagging, uh, it uh, impacted the other. So I started more and more to use uh, multiple instances of NeoVim uh, in uh, Vimux. But uh, session sw switching was not uh, easy. So I uh, did improvements for that. So uh, to, to switch, I uh, did a Rust rewrite. So before there were multiple binaries required, as I mentioned, and after uh, it's uh, one self-contained binary. Uh, it relies on crates. Uh, so the first crate uh, is Kim, which is a, a fuzzy finder. It's a clone of uh, FZF uh, for um, for uh, Rust. So for example, uh, here is the integration. So as you can see, uh, you can select uh, new sessions. Uh, or uh, select uh, running sessions. Uh, I use Blockish uh, to draw uh, the images uh, that you can see here, uh, which is a, a, a crate I wrote uh, to, to print images in the terminal. And I use this to detach, which is a, another crate I wrote, uh, by, uh, which uh, mimics uh, detach. Uh, I will talk about it later. Uh, it's uh, customizable. Uh, for example, this presentation is, is done that way. So you can uh, define your own a new session uh, suggestions. So like this. And uh, you can uh, put a new session prehook to change, uh, for example, uh, the directory where you want to run. And uh, you can uh, you have a wallpaper directory where you store your wallpaper and it will randomly uh, select one. Uh, yeah, and uh, 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 yeah, and uh, so to go a little deeper into the, the this uh, crate, so it dissociates a program from current terminal like detach, like screen, like AppDuco. It's a standalone binary, and it's a crate that you can integrate in your Rust project. So how does it work? So there are uh, multiple terminal emulators. Uh, for example, in this example, there are two clients that connect to one server. The server uh, has a NeoVim host uh, in the pseudo terminal. And uh, let's say uh, I input an, uh, an event in the client uh, 
the first client, it's, uh, it's sent via a Unix, Unix domain socket to, to the server, which forward uh, the, the, the input event to NeoVim. NeoVim outputs stuff to the terminal and sends it back to the program event thread, which uh, it then sends it out to the client, which uh, prints it. So it's quite uh, simple. And uh, I, uh, I inspired a lot of what I did uh, upon uh, Detach, which is, uh, if, you, if you're interested in this stuff, uh, go, go see Detach code. It's really clear and uh, easy to follow. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so you can, as I mentioned, uh, you can, uh, you can select a new session. You can uh, leave session with Control G, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope uh, this was interesting. That's cool. Very Thanks. cool presentation. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks. I mean, I just like it because I mean, I love, I love the 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 fuzzy find a session mentality. I like that. I've always been a big fan of it. Kind of where I yeah, I try to get all my stuff too is just like that quick moving in and out of what I need. Yeah, that was what I wanted to do. Basically, it was like a tab in Windows. In Windows, like you, you just uh, push a button and the first entry that, that appears is the last one where you were uh, before. So you can switch uh, fast that's the idea and uh, fuzzy fine if you need to. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We were both super impressed just with the size and scope of the project. Yeah. It just felt like every time I was like, oh, that's a really like impressive feature set. And then you're like, and also, and then boom, blew our minds with a whole nother set of features. Yeah. Which I really Thanks. thought was cool. Thanks. Yeah. Does anyone in chat have any questions? I think someone asked, how did you draw or how did you make the block diagrams? The block diagram is just a uh, terminal uh, stuff with uh, NC uh, uh, characters. Sweet. Nice. Cool. Uh, how's the performance versus Tmux? Question from Richie. This is Tmux. I don't know. Maybe it's a little slower because it's uh, not... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. The the performance, maybe of using NeoVim, uh, it's not as fast, but... Uh, I live with it. I've u I've been using it for uh, for years, and uh, it's not a problem for me. Where can they get this Vmux? Yeah, they can get it on GitHub. Uh, look uh, for uh, my repository. I don't know if the link is in the chat. Maybe I could I can post it. Yeah, send it in the chat because I think everybody everybody wants to go and check it out. It looks like someone just sent it. Yasgu Vmux, perfect. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for the talk. Yeah. Thanks.